you're live. Ha! Ah, guess what? This is a live stream. This is the Cruncher live stream. And I've grown a beard. I've got younger. And my hair's gone. And I've lost that blooming accent. Nope. Welcome to the Cruncher live stream. I've taken over Cruncher's channel for the day. He's, he's tied up in the corner with some rum and some beer. And yeah, you know, I thought I'd just drop by seeing as I was in the area. It, it, it's something to do, isn't it? You've just got to play the game sometimes. So what are we going to do on the live stream today? Well, I thought, well, apart from showing him tied up and hanging from his aerials, <laughs> I thought we'd um, maybe actually fix a radio in, in less than two hours, maybe, possibly. Unlikely. Unlikely, because it, it is a hacker. Now, we are going to be looking at the hacker that I thought I'd never see again. It's, it's the, the red one. The red... Hacker Herald, RP30, a nice, lovely, lovely one. We're going to go to the bench cam. I have my gorgeous assistant there. Um, he's, he's working the buttons for the camera. See, now, as you see, it doesn't quite pass the Cody spin test on his Roberts. Well, you can always fix that, George. I can always fix that, yes. I can always, um, I can always polish the balls. And I'm here. Hello. He is here. Really, I haven't tied him up. <laughs> I haven't tied him up. He's not hanging from his aerials. That's an but I, I, visit. I did he... surprise him a little bit. It surprised um, me a lot. I only just started talking again. Yeah, I, I turned up. The dogs went mad, and he came out thinking, "What the hell are them dogs barking at?" And uh, there I was, parked up in his driveway, and he was going, "What them?" But there we go. So. Let's have a look. Who have we got in the chat? Well, I can see Benji's there. I can see Dave Malik, Michael Hyde. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, he's got to get his glass. You've got to empty that vodka out and uh, yeah, finish the finish the vodka and go go on to the beer. Um, oh yes, yes. Cody's is in and Andrew Ausfer's in. Doug, Colin, ZX, nice to have you in. Then Jenny Ninja, Rob's in, and uh, I'm just going. Oh, Simon Spires, I will be there later. Oh, well, we'll see. Um, Rob, you might have come prematurely. You can get pills for that these days. It's 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 like that. Hopefully, I'm looking at the right camera. And uh, yeah, I, I get used to this setup. It's all it's all flashing lights and buttons and things. You know. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It is easy. It is. I've got lots of windows. You know, it's uh, so eight thirty, not seven thirty. Um, Oh, did I put Derek's in? 7.30, did I? Oh, I don't, I don't know. We're, we're here anyway. Wenlock's in. Uh, morning, Wenlock. Nice to have you in. Derek? Um, Hi, Derek. Yeah, everybody's here. Um, is he going to hacker it to bits? Yes, I probably will. Um, it. I've given him a task, Derek. I've given him the task of uh, now, recapping the um, yes. RP30. Which he gave me. Well, I bought it from him. He bought it from me, and I, as I say, I thought I'd never seen this again, see this again. But I do have some brown stuff, which is always good. We need the brown stuff. What am I going to open here? Oh, we, uh, we've, not, we've not been to the pub at all. At all. We might have done. Well, okay, we might have done. But um, I did, after Graham's heartfelt appeal on his last live stream where he'd run out of beer and he couldn't do anything. And on the Zoom meeting afterwards, he was suffering. You, you could tell he was suffering. All he had left was Aldi pineapple rum. So I thought, mercy mission, I'm in the area. I'll bring him some beers. So he, he's got a selection of beers. So he's going to eat. Yep, he will start with... Uh, are we on this camera here? We can do it on that camera. We can do it on all the cameras. See, look, there we go. Lizard beer. Astrid special. Well, I don't know. Where's it come from? Oh, um, lizard. It's got to be there. Yes, oh, uh, lizard beer is a smooth nut brown beer brewed in, the f in a former military building on the beautiful and unspoilt Lizard Peninsula, mainland Britain's most southerly point. There you go. And... Um, Yes, it'll get him drunk if he drinks enough of it. Camera says this is real ale, so and it says to store it upright. Well, it ain't going to be stored for very long because you've got to tip it back. 
So there we go, Graham. You can use yes. your special um, special Weera bottle opener on camera. Or we can have crunch. Yeah, yeah, you can put crunch. Yeah, don't oh, put it in the coal. <laughs> <laughs> in the very expensive brown beer. Um, sorry. <laughs> we can have Cruncher Cam as well. We can put Cruncher Cam on number three, look. Yeah, you can have two picture-in-pictures. We can have Cruncher Cam and... Yeah. yeah, there you go. Well, I'm a bit big, aren't I? I'm too so big. Well, make so, yourself smaller. So big, so hunky. <laughs> Hang on. Let's make me smaller. Let's yeah, make so me smaller. Has to go into all the... Oh, I'll tell you what. All these settings, all look, he's sliding around. Yeah, put yourself in the corner. That's it. It's easy once you know how. Yeah. I still haven't worked it out yet, though. So I'm, I'm here. I'm here, people. Dunce's hat. Can you, you see know. me? Can you hear him? Can I'm you hear the ground? Hear me through that mic. Yeah. It's see, I, I've been easy. told I'm faffing. See, see, Paul wanted me to have a badge that said AFP, anti faff police, <laughs> and come round in a copper's hat, but I couldn't get one in time. But... Simon, that's that's all I could think of at the time. I was totally like caught unaware so I didn't even know there was a stream going to happen today no it, it was just totally, totally random random just yeah I was delivering a child to the hospital down south here uh, where he's going to be a junior doctor and I thought well seeing as I'm in the same county I might as well come and see Mr Cruncher and uh, have a look at what we've got on the bench here so we've got two things now we got as far, or you got as far as testing it. You've zapped the AFs. AFs are done. It's all working. It's just the amplifier is really quiet. Um, oh, so we've got a quiet ampling fire. We can connect it up and test it. We can, we can connect it. So power supply is. You've got a couple of crock leads there beside you, should have. Mm -hmm. and they're all down the side here. Oh. It's, it's here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Where are we? No. Let, let me sort. You just crop these. So, so, he, he, he'll find me some wires. That's the meter probes. It's the, uh, these it's ones here, isn't it? It's these ones. It's it's the rubbery feeling ones. Yeah. We like them when they feel nice and rubbery. Rubbery. And have you set the current limit, or do I have to check um, it for you? Well, you can check it if you want, George. Okay. So let's turn the fire button on. Uh, let's turn the voltage to. You're on the right hand one, George. Oh, we're on this side, are we today? Yeah. 18 volts is okay. That'll do the job. Um, current. Let's uh, check the current. 100 milliamps. Uh, should be good enough. Okay, yeah, it should draw more than about 30 milliamps on the It's it's an acre. Yeah. It's an acre. Uh, right. So we'll have to. Yes, yeah, so yeah, better open your beer. You can't do without. Now I'm going to try and remember. Oh, of course, they've bodged the wiring on this, haven't they? Um, yeah, that's. Um, I'm trying to think what I did on that. I think, yeah, no, all it is is that switch is the on off switch, isn't it? Because they've. Um, okay. They've right, so you've got broken. your red is one side, isn't it? And your, yeah, your black is the other. Well, it hasn't gone bang yet, so we're, we're doing something right. Okay, so... Maybe I've disconnected that. No, I didn't disconnect, I don't think. Let's... Um, you might just need to turn the volume up. <laughs> ah, hang on, you haven't got the amp plugged in. I ain't got the amp plugged in? No. Oh dear, well that'll teach me, won't it? Put <sighs> the power back off, George. <sighs> Oh, there we go. All right. Car, leaving it all disconnected. What sort of repairer are you? Cheers, everybody. Well, let's plug it in. You yeah. certainly did catch me with your pants down, Paul. Oh. Right, 20 milliamps. We have been down the pub already, Chris. <laughs> You've done plug the speaker in either, George. What, you, you unplugged that as well? Out, and you haven't recapped it already? I think, did I recap the mm, board? Yeah. yeah, you've recapped that. Recapped the, um, RF board, the IF board. 
Ah, it's only a transistor amp. Paul will say it's only an acker. Don't make no difference, does it? Right, so, let's have another go. Whee, I heard something then. Oh, we've got a sticky, sticky tuner. Yeah, you can restring re it if you want, George. You don't get much in here, do you? Yeah, I think this... Yeah, I think this is suffering, isn't it? <laughs> I, th I th think this needs recap. I don't think we need to sort of guess anymore, do we? No. I think I've worth a recap though, just to see. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just to check it out, make sure we have got uh, fire going out of it. I haven't brought any matches. Have you? you got the remote switch in it? Yes. It's not yes. Yeah. It yeah. needs a new um, volume pot altogether. Um, or I don't think we've got time to get George to put that in as well. We could do. <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> could do. It's got to be on. You've got to be on at some stage today. Or Tomorrow done. morning. I've, I've told the wife it may be round about midnight, maybe later, which is normal for me. The PLT is off, Andrew. Mm. The PLT is off both ends because it was being a pain in the ass on um, eleven meters. Right. So, you to take if you want to take take this away and um, find a bin for it. We give you that. Are you? Right. Do we have a pot or a magnetic tray or something for all these screws and things? Um, you should, should be able to find one of those. We'll find, a dirt, find a dirty cup. Oh, no, that's got screws in. That one hasn't. There, there we go. No expense here, spared here? No. No. We'll keep them all together over the back. So, let's have a look at this board to start with. We have a right old mix of dailies. There's some uh, that a Phillips in there as well. Bit it, of everything in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a right mess of bits. It's got the older OC series transistors, which is quite nice to see. Um, so it's, it is one of the early ones. That's an AC127 in there, so we won't need to worry about that. It's got the ceramic-based resistors, if I remember rightly. Are these ceramic-based ones? No, or are they, no, no they're carbon with the caps on the end, yeah. aren't they? Yes. You're right, as long as the caps don't come off. Well, we can test a few of them to make sure that they're good, but we are going to be uh, desoldering some bits, I think, and uh, taking some caps out. So I'm now going to... Uh, have a look and see what Graham's actually got capacitor wise and let's have a look radial caps are they in this box top here two. top two top three actually top two top three that's, that's the little ones so ignore those so that's, ign that's ignore that years. box because they're the baby ones that's the normal stock there right that's the normal is it the normal one down is more obscure stuff which you'll probably need right okay so let's start out and yeah, we'll have the manual sucker because they no, work. The manual, as in the hacker manual for it. Oh no, we don't need the manual. Ooh. Yeah, no, I'll just. So you will need that for quiescent current and midpoint voltage setup then. I'm recapping first. Yeah, I think I'm... it's there. What it's do you need? What? The book of lies. You need the book of lies. Let's just check that he hasn't filled this with beeswax. Oh, 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 nearly. Nice bit of hand action there, you know. Got the overhead cam as well if you want. It. Yes, yeah, no, I, I, I think for the moment we're uh, we're fine on that. Yeah, but, see, 
This is actually identical to my one at home. You've probably seen it in my videos, and um, it's got the nice doing. It makes lovely music. Right. So, 100 microfarad, 25 volt. Let's start by finding 100 microfarad. He is Dom. Dom's just sussed it. He's here. He's here. He I'm here. Unannounced Dom. 10 volts. Ones. 100. If you do any cock ups, you the goats at the top there, that right? Alright, yeah, we're probably going to need the goats. They're going to have to say hello at some stage. No doubt. 100 micro. Ah, oh, there we go, 25 volts. Sounds reasonable, Graham. I wouldn't. That's a hundred volt one. I don't think we need to go that big. Not unless you want to put hundred volt caps in there. Thirty-five. That'll do. Um, legs there. Just flip the solder on now. Oh, it, well, it's not switched on yet. Oh dear. It'll take five seconds to warm up. It's pretty quick. We're going to count it. One, two, one, two. Three. I am the count, and I love to count. That's good to go. It's good to go. So that one is that pin there, and that one there, and that one's negative that side. So we're basically all, we're all distorted at the moment. The amp is absolutely nat. Um, we can test the caps after they come out. Yeah, we can. We can have a game of blow up the cap. So, sorry, cat bingo. Hi, Bill, how are you? <laughs> I'm on the secondary camera today, look. Yeah, I've demoted him. No one puts Cruncher in the corner. We, we, we've stuffed him by his computer. That's the IMAX. I'm on the IMAX. So. We, we've, we've thrown him at the back there. I need you. The entire Devon Fire Service are on full alert. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. They've actually rubbed all of the ink off of this. Look. They've actually uh, made it quite messy, but uh, we don't need no stinking ink. You remember which way went it went anyway? Yes, yeah, yes of okay. course. So there's that one. Um, electric glue. Um, black one over there, let's see. We'll use the black one, do we? Yeah. yeah. You want to use the thin stuff because we like the thin stuff. Yeah, the thick stuff goes on pretty sharpish. <laughs> so it's weird using someone else's um, tools as well, isn't it? It is. This feels a lot slimmer than holding my one gram. Yes. Yeah. I like a, I like a thin one. You, you obviously don't have the same girth as me. <laughs> I can give you bigger. <laughs> Have you got cutters? Cutters. Um, those ones will yeah. do. Yeah. Are these special ones from a uh, Mr. Andrew Alsford got me those? These are Mr. Andrew Alsford's cutters. Yes. Mm. Very kindly gave me those. Hi, so Harry that's... Ellis. Hi, Harry Ellis Tun Suffolk. What? Unusual. Test it. Test what, Andrew? Oh, the oh we're, we're going to we're going to oh, we're, we're, yeah. we're going to do some we're going to do some capacitor, capacitor bingo. bingo. Got to have that. Going to play that game. So that's uh, the back end. Press one in. Let's get the camera on you a little bit better. Yeah. There we are. Sounds like he's filling up. Are oh, you at work, Bill? <laughs> Even Benji, well, I haven't said hello to everybody. I like, guess um, George has taken over. Because I, I did the hellos bit originally. Yeah. Stuck in the corner with the, the remains of the Dinotron Atlantis. 
QLB. Yes. I take it you haven't done much more work on that, have you? No, I've not yet. My lad's going uh, to sort the case out for me. And then I've got to try and undo all the mess that's in it that someone else has put in there for me. 40 microfarad 16 volts, so let's find a 47. There's a lot of caps on these boards, by the way. It's, um, it's one of the most heavily populated hacker amplifiers. Is it 47 or 4.7? It said 47 yeah, on there. 47, yeah. Well, it's a 40, but I'm going to put a 47 yeah, in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's going in there. And da, 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 da. soda pump, yeah. Yeah. I'm not swearing. Am I swearing, Derek, am I? <laughs> manual solder pump. I gotta say I prefer a good manual pumping. Derek did send me um, a, a replacement gun as well, so thank you very much for that, Derek. For my uh, desoldering station. Derek sent you a replacement solder gun. Yes. Very kind of him. He sent oh. me uh, lots of bits here. He even sent me uh, an iron to do the um, do the radio kit with. Oh, an old traditional weller. Oh, so the little um, the, the end bit in, yeah, yeah. Uh, stamp the. I can't remember. If I if I'd have had half a brain with me, I would have brought down um, one of those cheap Chinese ones for you that has got. Um, you know, a great big bolt in the side that oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> He's also sent me um, a couple more heart kits because the uh, ICs were naff in the other ones. So uh, we're going to do another heart kit at some stage and got uh, new ICs. I was actually tempted to do one myself. I've got it at home, but I never got round to doing it. Yeah, they're nice kits. They do look nice. I mean, I, I sort of botched it to make it work. Um, the ICs weren't programmed, I don't think. Two hundred and fifty microvolt good. twelve How volts. Are you? Good of you to join us as well. Two fifty two Nino with this way to see it. Do you want a two twenty in there or a three thirty to replace the two fifty? Um three thirty. Okay. Yeah. Go higher, higher. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind. I have got some two, I think that obscure one's got some 200 and somethings. Well, Did you look, say it was? The, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a 250. It's 250. 250 yeah. at 12 is all I'm looking for. No, not in that one. There's, a, there's, another, there's another obscure one somewhere else. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, no. we'll, we'll go with a 330 at 25. Okay. Won't, you won't use the... Though, Higher, higher, no lower, lower. The old, the old caps were minus 10 plus 50, a lot of them. What was that show? Higher, lower. Uh, play your cards right, wasn't it? Play your cards right, yeah. Brucey. Mm. Brucey bonus. Oh, I never had a Brucey bonus. <laughs> I'm to make some room here because I'm running over things with my chair. It's amazing I can actually get two people in here. I couldn't, couldn't have done a month ago. Probably couldn't have done this morning if uh, what you were telling me was right. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I still had all, all the devastation from Sunday's live stream in here. I had all my records out everywhere, or the record player. So I, I guess the day off, so we went garden centre and I've actually gone and picked up a box full of CD radios yesterday. So that'll be another... Um, another live stream. Another stream to have a look at some of the worst looking radios I've ever got. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to have some good explosions here. If anybody gets them right, we will bang them. No, we won't. We won't, George, will we? Well, I thought we would. You know, see, yeah, see, this, yeah. is my, this is my bench, not yours. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's a channel takeover, isn't it? It's, it's, it's <laughs> you know. Oh. <laughs> we, we, we can have some explosions. We, we need some fire. Change for 270, one watt. Change for two. 270 and resistor one more. Yeah, that'll work well. 220. <laughs> We're going 330. We're going big. We don't want 220. Higher, higher rather than lower. It's an amplifier. 
to be fair, these these radios once once this amplifier is done, they sound absolutely amazing. I thought that was a ladybird for a minute. It's a bit of bit of tin slag by the looks of it, mm. or flux, or mm, never mind. So you could zoom in on that later. Yeah, you, you could do. <laughs> oh yeah, zooming in on the power. No, I don't. You've got the buttons. You can touch. Them. Well, I, I can. I can. You can, you can I touch could touch them. Graham's buttons. You, you, it would absolutely go into outer space, but you could touch them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Graham wants me to touch his buttons. You can tell, yeah, can't you? Can yeah. Normally, I only push them. Now he wants me to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hi, Brett. How are you? Fifty microfarad, six volts. Fifty. Sort of hello to people as I see you pop in. So forty-seven. Uh, 4.7, 47, 16. Let's pull that one there and there. Now I know Graham likes to do all his, um, his chatting and his uh, bits and pieces, but um, yeah. You don't like any of that. We just get on with it, don't we? We just get on with it. Yeah, you know, it's a bit Cody's like here, you know. It's just I can't speed myself up at the moment. Hi, Jess, how are you? How are you feeling, Jess? Hope you're doing all right, mate. The Dallies are probably resistors by now. They probably are. More than we likely. We on stage, ZX, should we? <laughs> they couldn't afford to get us on stage, ZX. They could. Jamie Smyther, did you succeed soldering that diesel pump ECU? I had a similar problem on a turbo actuator. Drill it under the sink. Who is copper? It worked for my job. Saved a 2k part cost. Yeah, Jamie, I did do the um, I did do the ECU for um, for the chap down the road, but um, I wasn't because it was just normal solder. It, it's a high temperature bit of kit, so I just wasn't confident that under temperature the soldering was going to hold up. So I did do it, but um, I did suggest to the guy that really he ought to just get another ECU or get another diesel pump. Um, I did do it, Stuart, wasn't it? I, I did do it for him, but um, he decided in the end just to go for another diesel pump because he takes it abroad and what he didn't want to happen is it got really hot when he was uh, going out, out down into Europe and and the parts fall off the board exactly and, and it becomes desoldered because of the temperature in the thing and it's all I can't remember um, Chris all the gear no idea did say say how it was it's, it's electrically bonded somehow so it's not actually soldered they're almost like spot welded the wires mm. and um, of course solder has got a melting point um, so yep. I just wasn't confident enough. So I mean, I I just charged him for a couple of bits that I um, bought for it, but I didn't charge him any, anything really for doing it. I just uh, let him have it back and said, if you want to keep it for a spare, then all well and good. I did um, I did manage to solder to the um, to the stands. I've got a massive great soldering iron, so I did manage to get some solder to stick to it in the end. But um, I I certainly wouldn't think that that was a reworkable uh, unit by any means. It, it can be done, but um, you know, I wouldn't be confident at um, signing my name to it. Really, it's not a straightforward so, so that, one, is that's it? That's the story on it, Jamie. Really, if you, if you heard what I said. Ten microfarads. So just feeling a bit more like Thirty-five. Himself. Just to cut the grass today and get some fresh air. Good stuff, um, Jess. Glad you're feeling a bit better, mate. Which one is Arkwright and which one is Granville? <laughs> I don't know. What do you reckon, George? I don't mind. Well, Cody yeah. Speed is doing it apparently. That's dead slow to reverse, he said. <laughs> George has got the mic, so I, you know. Well, you, you can still hear it. I'm sure it's. I'm sure he can. Yeah, you can still hear Graham. Everybody can still hear Graham. I could tell more jokes. Where's Nurse Gladys? Uh, I, I don't know where Nurse Gladys is. Mm. Nurse Gladys. Ba -ba -ba -ba, she's at the ba -ba 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 bank. I wonder what was going on. Yeah, she, th she thought Graham had bought her a new car. 
No worries, Jamie. You're welcome. Simon, how you doing, mate? Subscribe to my assistant's channel this week. You've trained him well. Keep it up, both of you. Uh, who's the assistant, though, Simon? Is it me or, or George? <laughs> George is my new apprentice, look. <laughs> 10 micro farad 25, 10 at 50. I'll have another one of them out. It's all here somewhere, George. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. We're cracking on. We're cracking on with it. There's a lot of caps in that board, don't there? But there's one or two, yeah. yeah compared to your normal hacker board, there is quite a lot. When you've done that board, I've got another one identical you can do. If you want. <laughs> no, we, we won't take it. long. See, see, having the assistant, it means you've got more time for drinking, Graham. True. That's quite good, like being a spectator. It's the same when I went up to see Sean. Yeah. Mind you, Sean didn't really want to do anything. He, he wanted to just get, give it to me. I did make him do things. Did you? Did. Do we really need to know? Well, you saw it all live. Yeah. Is Sean there now? It's not, I don't think, no. We haven't been to Fight Club yet. No, we haven't. Are you doing midpoint and quiescent? I think you ought to, Brett, don't you? I'll, I will do. I will well, do. Well, you need to, really, if we recap the thing, because I'm sure all the voltages and current will change dramatically. The problem with that board is um, you've got one of these wire wound um, flat bar resistors on it, and you've got to move the slider up and down it. So you'll be really careful, because if you just nick it slightly, you can break one of the. Um, Wires and it yeah, it it's 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 one of those yeah, it's, it's shit horrible. ones. It's actually stuck as well. I can it see is, the original yeah. paint is still on there. Yeah, you'll be stuck with that red goop. And, um, There's always fire that removes it. Yeah, we got fire things here. Alcohol and matches works wonders. <laughs> Either that or acetone actually cleans it off. You've got acetone up there somewhere. I've not actually used the acetone yet. No? No, I got it for um, 3D printing to smooth some of the prints out. Did this bit of an experiment, but I never got around to trying it. So but, while, uh, while Graham's no, on no. the lizard, um, I'm on the uh, the rum. Pints of rum. Rum and coke? No, just rum. Just pure rum? That's pure rum, that's yeah. Rum. Is that cracking, is it? It is, it's cracking. I had the I had the choice actually. Dead man's fingers or crack and I thought which one do I go for? I know you like the dead man's, dead man's fingers, fingers, so that that's why I thought, you know, we'll stick with that one. I did try crack once, I couldn't really get on with it. It was a bit um weird taste to it. What that it made you fall asleep? No, I think I only tried a glass of it down down the local pub and I wasn't really keen on it, so I didn't um didn't try it. I can give you a sweetie as well, George, if you want a sweetie. <laughs> some sweeties see have you have you heard this <laughs> do you want a sweetie little boy sweetie. you, you got, got to wonder about this man sometimes sweetie. Sweetie. not right now thank you graham <laughs> he's offered i might eat one of his sweeties later i didn't say i didn't want it i just not right now graham don't forget to go and put mrs cruncher's dinner on halfway through the Amp, George. Yeah, you've got to go and do Mrs. Crunch's dinner as well. We didn't say that, did we? Mm, no, but I can, I can, I can ask her. Hi, <laughs> Cyber Flyer, how are you? You need a beer. <laughs> Dear Cyber, what's happening? Benji always says what's happening, doesn't he? Well, That's Benji's like new saying, what's happening? Yeah, but... Hey, it, we did it, see you, you sent a parcel up to Mr. Cody's today, Benji. The usual packing standards as well, very good. Very exceptional, 100 at 25. Um, 100... 100 at 25. Go down and say hello to Mrs. Crunch for a minute, because I haven't really said hello to her since she's come in from work. So I'm going to leave you with George for a second. <laughs> there you go. Now I can say all the rude words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want some Greek music? I can bring some back up. You'll get a strike. Yeah, you won't get away with it two goes on the trot. Yes. I know I'm sort of cracking on here with this, you know, it's we can't we can't all take forever to just change a handful of caps, can we, you know? 
Who else? Um, yeah, Benji, what's happening? I've taken over Graham's channel. I turned up unannounced. Frightened the life out of him, I did. He was, up, he was upstairs. And I thought, right, I just turned up in the driveway. And the dogs went wild. And I was saying hello to the dogs. And he'd come rushing out thinking, what the hell are them dogs barking at? And um, there was I standing there. And I told him I had something in the boot that needed fixing and um, just happened to be some bottles of beer laid over. And, you know, he's, he's, he's got to fix them. So uh, that's what he's doing. And I'm sitting here fixing a hacker board for him. Right, that's next one. What's that, 10 at 25? We are going to have a good game of capacitor bingo later. Yeah, that one will do. And that's there and there. Good. To pick the right one there. Feels like I've unsolded the right terminal. It's got to be the right terminal. Ah, yeah. How do you keep talking through this? See, normally, because I do videos rather than live streams, I don't talk as much as Graham. So it, it's actually hard to sort of keep the entertainment factor going. But here I am, just, just pulling out caps and... Come on, you... Yeah. That's what it is. It's a broken leg, that's why. And... That wouldn't have done it any favours. And here I'm going to be completely inappropriate. I'm going to use cutters to pull the leg out. Oh. Ah. Messages on Facebook. Um, that one. Plus going to that end. Yeah, I'm going to have a comfort break without worrying about the microphone now, though. Yeah, you, you don't have to turn the microphone off. Oh. How are we doing then? Getting there. I've got a solder blob over the hole, so I'll just... Uh... Oh, I didn't, didn't pick it oh, up because it's blocked. I'm immune now. <laughs> Who's immune? Look at that solder came out the end of that. Twins apparently separate their breath. Yeah. Give some cruncher impressions. No. Yeah, well, you've got to speak like what us do down here and now when you're down here, boy. Oh, you got to speak like that? Yeah, you got to speak like that there, boy, when you're down here. When, when, when I'm down here? Down here. Well, a minute. You mean that? i got to do it a minute, have I? You do it. Give me a minute. Every minute. <laughs> I'll have a go. Bit hard, though. Not using enough flux. You need flux, George. Do you flux? <laughs> he it... says flux off, Andrew. I think there's enough in solder. So Jamie is asking me if you wanna about an old bush radio I have, TR82C, yeah, I know it. Very early transistor, it works. Can only get long wave, crackly, crackly, crackly. So bad, can't spell it. It's probably it's probably got the AF one one seven transistors in it, Jamie. So, um, but said that if you're getting long wave, you should really get um, get medium wave medium too. Medium wave as well. So it could be dodgy switches. So you might just need a bit of switch cleaner in the switches. There isn't a separate IF chain for the pair of them. They're, it's just just straight through, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a fairly basic set. So it's got to be 
unless unless there's a problem with the um, ferrite rod. Unless he's actually taken it out and played with it, then it, it, it could still be AF one one sevens. To be fair, and you might only be getting radio four because it's a really strong station and it's not passing the IF for the weaker stations on medium wave. So it could could be Jamie. It depends what transistors you've got in it. Flux needs to be cleaned off. Yeah, we haven't finished yet. You can clean the flux off after. This is this is vintage flux that's on here. You can't get rid of vintage flux. Lifted all the traces. Have I? <laughs> Does it still work? No. Do we care? <laughs> hey, look, I bought that off you. Yeah, I know. I it's thought I'd never. I thought. Day. That's going to be a good radio at the end of this day. Yeah. Uh, 250 12 volts. See, see, throw these. Look at the cloudiness on that load. That's a cloudy one. It's even got bits of Brewer's foreskin oh, in the bottom. God. You sure that's foreskin? I think so. <laughs> There's a bit cloudy. So that's because it's from the lizard. They're strange down there. Even more Jess, strange Jess, than up here. Jess is down there. Hi, uh, hi Paddy, how are you? Well, you see, you tried doing a video early, R747, short video, switch cleaner in the volume pot, done. Yeah. They're actually nice radios, those, Paul. Put those, Paul. I guess, is that one I gave away, George? Do you send that plus 747? I think, yes, I did. I, I gave it one away, didn't I? Yep. Done it and gave it away. I can't remember who won that now. It's probably Victor, wasn't it? I, I think it was, actually. I think, no, did you? No, 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 I don't. Victor was it? Was it Sean? No, it wasn't Sean that did the 747. I'm trying to think who won that, man. Was it Phil the Power? I can't remember. It was Christmas time, I know. It was Christmas time, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a Christmas live. Yeah, Jamie, if you've got AF117s, then that'll be your problem, mate. You'll need to get them out and zap them or replace them, one of the two. Fit the Russians. Or, yeah, yeah replace them. You can replace them with... Uh, Feed the Russians. Look right in a TR eighty two. Is it really Russians? Who's gonna? To zap them? Right. Here's the thing. Myself and Cody's. We have these discussions. And do you think people actually look in these radios after they've bought them? It depends who it is that's got it in there. If, if you've got a radio because you're a collector, mm. then you're gonna want it as original as possible. If you just got a radio and you just want to listen to it and stick it on the side and and listen to it, it looks nice then. Yeah, whatever makes it work will do. Agreed. But, um, you know, a lot of collectors want it absolutely bang on. And th the other thing is you've got to think about the expense. Because even the GT322Bs are not um, cheap now, George. They've, got, they've gone up considerably since I bought I, my first lot. I've bought a lot recently and they arrived oh, a few about a month ago now. And I paid £73 for 200 Yeah. I know, I, and I think probably a year ago I paid about 40, 40 something yeah, for the, 200. So but they are getting rarer again. Getting, yeah, they are getting rare and they're getting expensive. So. Well, I won't say rarer because we know Paul doesn't like that word. Rarer? Yeah, rare. We'll just say harder to find. 100 at 12. Look at the mm. stash of caps he's got going there. TriStar 747, very nice set. Uh, Ooh, very lovely little CB set that is. Yes, we haven't got one of those here. I prefer the TriStar 777 myself, but that's just being pedantic. It was a nice CB set. TriStar 747, yeah, it was a good set. So Jameson, he got his um, TR-82C at boot so it didn't work, so he cut off each black. So you cut off a shield wires on each one, and yeah, that, that'll that get it going. That, that'll maybe. get it going, but... The thing is, is... Um, it's not a guaranteed fix. You'll still, get, um, you'll still get the whiskers growing across the other junctions, Jamie, so you may find that you've still got whiskers. And if he's still having problems, he could have dodgy caps in it. Mm. Saying that... Um, it's got all the original caps and everything. Oh well, sling them all out, get new ones in there. Yeah. Hi Darren, how are you? <laughs> Darren's in the house. Oh, Mr. Cole. Yeah, hi Darren, how are you? Yeah. 
<laughs> CB super strong. And Simon says more rarer. More rarer. Who's your celebrity guest this week, Graham? It's it's George. George Christoffi. The the, the mad Russian Daddy. fella. You must be subscribed to Mr. George Christoffi. I clogged you right up now. Where's you been? Been as behind. Or do you collect your lead as well? I've got two bins in here. Ah. I'm double bin. Double You're binner. double binned. Double binner. And sometimes I collect the lead and weigh it in at the end of the month. Send me the mana castrol. Yeah. Do you just want me to sort it out if you send it back? Come down or you just, just want to let me have it anyway? You got a TriStar 747, needs a good tuner. Yeah, most of these old um, SSB sets do need a good tuner. George probably got one down near his leg, I can see. It's um, a very nice SSB set that I haven't yet. That's not a CB there. you're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, please, just down out the end of my shorts, yeah. That one there. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a 148 GTL DX, yeah. <laughs> Similar sort of thing. But um, that's one of my sets from back in the day. Back in the day, in the Any, day anybody would make really? you think you was old. Yeah, old, old, 470, 470. Yeah. Since 1985. Again, what do you want in here? It's a 500. Do you want me to put a 470 in, or do you want me to go higher? It's a 500, is it? Um, yep. Well, higher, you're going a bit mental. You've got some. But higher is a thousand, unless you've got some 680s. Some 560, how about that? 560, that'll do the job nicely. There we go. Got some bizarre sizes. Dun, 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 dun. No, that's not a CB, he's on tag. What? <laughs> yes, down by my leg, I'm on tag. Oh, it's, it's, it's me, um, tag. it's me Scouse Rolex. I do see that they'll be around here. Yeah. Nice Cobra the one four eight. It is a beautiful radio cyberfire. It's um I need to do the um I bought this um two tone oscillator kit. Oscillator? Yeah, it's oscillator I suppose, isn't it? Two tone generator kit. Oh, I've got to do. It's all SMD. Two tone oscillator. So uh, that's a SMD kit build at some stage to um, tune up the uh, transmitter. Right, I'm not happy with the looks on some of these joints either, so I'm going to just reflow them. It's going to be a bit of reflowing. There's some flux up there if you want it. No, nah, just put new solder on it. New solder? Oh, on the existing joints, you mean? Not ones that you've done? Yeah. I thought you meant ones that you've done. None of my joints are bad. I roll them tight enough. I didn't say that. You said that you, you wanted to redo some of the joints. I didn't know. I don't know if you meant the ones that you've done. Oh no. They look a bit grey and blobby, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, they're not grey. Let's see, see these on the pins there. Yeah, the old they're... pin uh, plug needs to be reflowed and the two um, Definitely. connections. I've just done the two speaker ones. That's. Uh... That one's hardly got anything on it. Fit the Russians. Yeah, Jamie. Are you local, Jamie? Yeah, Darren, we're not on video link. He's here live and he just turned up totally out of the blue, mate. He, I just, I was gobsmacked, to be honest. I, I didn't know what to say. I just couldn't believe that he just turned up out of the blue. I ain't done the dishes, I ain't done my hair, my makeup, nothing. You should have heard Mrs. Cruncher telling him off. Oh, she gave me a right, right roasting about the mess. He's not run the hoover around the place. No. He, he's, he, he gets up in the, in the afternoon, not the morning, he gets up in the afternoon apparently and just lays around not doing anything, which is why, you know, she has a go at him. And, and oh, I, th I think it's totally justified. I'm going to side with Mrs. Cruncher. This girl likes Mrs. Cruncher. Yeah. 
You're doing your cheese on toast now, you know that, don't you? No, I didn't know that, but yeah. that's very nice. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm having cheesy toast. Oh, smell it burning though. Is it? A, is it a special cheesy toast? Is it a Devon cheese? Oh, a bit of Worcester sauce on cheesy toast. Oh, I might not even be cheeky and ask for ground pepper. Still don't like that one. He's doing a bit of reflow in um, Paul. Done the camp pastors already. All the camp pastors are done. He's gonna get on the ESR meter in a minute and tell us what they what what they're doing. Yeah, we've got we've got to play bingo. But some of these other joints just really need fresh solder. They're, they're just not good <laughs> enough. Thomas saying it's a good thing at your ear because I can't buy stuff on eBay. I can. I've got I see I told you she's burning it tonight. She's not burning it. That's that's the cooking. That's the dinner's ready alarm. Oh, okay. is it really? Yeah. God, we're on fire. Fire brigade are coming. Do you, do you use your Alexa like we do at home? What do you mean? Well, if I'm in the kitchen, I'll say Alexa announce dinner, and then all the other Alexas in the house will sit there and tell everybody it's dinner. So, so I don't have one. to shout out the room. We've only got one. Oh. Well, we've got one on our phones, but... Yeah, we've got one really. God, it does smell, smell of fire, doesn't it? No. Fire smells different. I can show you what fire smells like. No, 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 you can't. Where's the acetone? No, we haven't got any of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's the amp board done. I think what we'll do first is we shall plug it in. Yeah, we did have a... We did have a good good old crack with the uh, 78s, didn't we, on Sunday? Well, you see. Um, Khalid Salah. Uh, you'd like some soldering on you. Use what's the model, please? It's a Pace ADS200, yes. is the one that uh, Graham has here. Because he's posh. Pace ADS200. Uh, I, I only have a, a Weller TCP at home. And You've a Chinese. Chinese one, oh, I've got a Chinese one, yeah. I've got to admit, yes, the Chinese one. I had to order some more tips because the Chinese tips still haven't arrived. So, right. yeah. So I've, I've ordered some more and I'm chasing up the uh, AliExpress seller. And I'm going to say to him, Oi, matey, you owe me some money. Yeah, too right. Yeah, uh, so we're ready for a test. So... Do you want to do the banging first, or do you want to do the um, the, the board in the radio thing first? Have a look at the caps, I should. Have a look at the caps. Yeah, so right. just over there to your left. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, it's wrapped round, oh, it's wrapped round the other metres. He's good, isn't he? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Right, now, let's make sure. Can we see this? You want, you want the overhead camera, right? I want the overhead cam, so I need to flip this bit up. Flip it up. Do that. Move it. So move it this way. That move way. it that way. That way, but a bit. Yeah, Is that like it. that? I'm in it. Focus it. Focus. Getting in there, boy. Get in there, boy. Uh, so we want overhead cam. Overhead cam, like that. So Can we see that? Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Plus button. The plus button. Plus over that side. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. That, that, uh, there's minus. There's plus. You look at this picture at the moment. I'm looking at that one. Oh, 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 oh. too much. So we turn the turn it that way. Turn it that way. Other way. Oh, I can have it upside down. People can read upside down, can't they? Look at this picture here, and then I'll, all those, I'll fade it in. Whee! There we go. Move it down a little bit more. Down, what, down that way? That way? That way? There you go. There you go. You want it there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, okay. So, so first, I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, anyway, I'll just hold it. It's easier. Tell us what it is. 500 microfarads. They're not... Oofs, UFs, they're microfarads at 12 volts DC. So, what do you think? Place your bets. 500 microfarads, people. 500 microfarads. Hi, like David, how are you? Spectrum community. Yes, yeah, Spectrum is, is still uh, going. They are very good, ZX. They've still got all the same stuff, really. So, come on, 500 microfarads. To wait, it's a bit of a lag on the chat. I think it's a bit just, of a lag. Yeah, I didn't set it on. Bit of a lag. Is that with a silent S? Latency. 
We've got to be low latency. Oh, low, low latency. 400. Oh, we've got 400 from Derek. 400 for Derek. This is a 500 microfarad. 610, 610 from Brett. That's like it. Ooh, it's Paul says 610. Ooh, double doubles. 590, 512, 670. Lighter fluid for warming your hands. Indeed, Dom. I like acetone and I do like it. Darren says 650. 650, yeah. We've got 578 from David. Well, you see he's given us 502. Oh, any more bets? Any more bets? You're, you're too good to him, you know. Hello? Oh, my God, we've got a full-on meal. Thank you, Kat. There's loads of cheese and... Thank you. Oh. that lot, George. Blimey. Now, now, this is posh. Have you seen how posh this is? <laughs> this is posh grub. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm going to munch away. We got any more guesses? More guesses? Um... No, okay, right. So let's go. If anybody gets it smack on, you know, Graham will set fire to it. Five five nine. Mm. Who was closest to that? Five seven. David is quite close with five seventy eight. You have to scroll back up, see if anyone said I saw someone said five sixty, didn't they? No? 512 is, yeah, 590, 670. Yeah, David gets that one. David Roberts, you are the winner of the first capacitor. It's David. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. It was good. It was alright, was it? No. It's a good cat. Is that a dummy as well or TCC? Or CCL? CCL. Do you want me to put that in your box so you can reuse it? No. Okay. Right. Dally, 100 microfarads. And the uh, sawmeter off. Oh. Off. We'll do off. Because obviously we don't want everybody to yeah. get it first. We want, we want to drag it out a little bit, don't we? that Right. So this is a 100 microfarad. 12 volt capacitor. What do we get? What are we guessing? Right, I'm going to have another. Ooh. Oh, da, 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 da. blow it up anyway. Yeah, pull not far out. Yeah, yeah. We, we possibly are, Paul. I bought him a bottle of rum. Mm. 110. 136, 188, 129, 129 again. We've got a double again. Whoa. 33,000. 33,000. I've got that one at home, Paul. Uh, 140, 118, 111. Nelson. And Michael. 150. Zero. Derek says zeros. Mm. Zero. Mm. Paddy's abstaining. Mm. You're right, Paddy, are you? 123. What's it? 100 microfarad dally. 100 microfarad dally. Oh. So it's going to be one of two. So I think it'll be like pretty much bang on. It's going to be way out. One, one of the yeah. Other. And don't forget, if anybody gets it right, it's going to be bang on. <laughs> 137.4. Cyberflyers on 140. So he's only two point two point six out. One thirty six, Andrew. Andrew's one thirty six. He's closer. Mm. Can't be any closer than Andrew, surely. Don't think so. No, no, we're not. Mr. Andrew Alsfa. Andrew gets that one, but it's not bang on, so there's no bang. We haven't found the cat that was causing the distortion yet, so it could even be a transistor. Could be. Right, 50 microfarads at 6 volts. Gentlemen, place your bets. Mm. Open, David. Let's see, place your bets. 50 microfarads, 6 volts. 
it's a dally. So don't dilly dally on the way. Oh, we got a 56 from Benji. This video is sponsored by House for Caps. <laughs> right, Dom gives us 57 69 from GNU, 57.5, 53 from Andrew Alsfer, Cyberfly gives us a 60, 64 from David Roberts, 63 from Darren, 53.01 from Mr. Cody's. We've got to say that in a deep voice, I mean, Mr. Cody's. Uh, 60.2, 58.2. Oh, Stupu. Ooh. Welcome, Stupu. Welcome, Stupu. It's a name I haven't seen on the forum before. Welcome, uh, no, it's, uh, no. welcome, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you aboard. Have we got any more bets? Colin gives us 58 too. Mm -hmm. Any more bets? Any more bets? Right, we're going to hit the button. Eyes down. Oh, this could be a naughty one. Oh, she's hanging. She's hanging. That's a uh, uh, no. That's a nun nil cap. That is nil point. Do you want to stick it on the multimeter? See what happens. See if it measures. Let's just thing? let's just is test it, that it's it? it's it's not. Right, I'm it's absolutely knackered on that one. That one. That one That's is. One. That's the boy. That one will be. That's the killer. You're dead. Multimeter. Multimeter. Um, let's put it on Holmes. Holmes under the hammer. And just give it a quick. Derek. Cheers, Derek. Thank you, mate. Come on. Oh, we're getting we're getting it charged and then it's reading open. It's yeah, let, 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 let's chuck it on the the orange. Tested de la orange. Mm. I'll, I'll put it there, and we'll, I'll, I'll hold it there, and we can we can see what happens. I recently bought one of these myself, actually, Graham. These um, they're good, aren't they? LCR45s. I'm just asking if it's a six volt rating. Uh, it is indeed. It is a six so Hi, Carlos, how are you? Do you guys have any screws? I've just got done fixing your radio. You've got about four screws left over. <laughs> Carlos, I've got loads oh. of screws, mate. <laughs> We're good. Hit enter, that's it. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, okay, so there is what it reads. 1.4... Picofarad, are we angled? There, you go. there we go. It's 1.4 picofarads, that one. I think it's commonly known as f f not working. Uh, yeah, not working. Kernagard. So that's. Um, that, that, well that may have caused the problem, yes. Mm -hmm. That one may have caused the problem. Uh, what have we got here? 100 microfarad, 25 volt Dali. Salvador Dali. We don't dilly dally on the way. What are the bets on this one then? I'm just saying the six foot ones are always knackered. No, he says they're knacked. Because he's got the knack. Oh, they're knacked. He's got the knack. Or was that was uh, the knack were a band, weren't they? They did my Sharona. Yeah, mm. Who is your Sharona? M -m -m my Sharona. I've not everyone ever had no one do do my Sharona. No. Have they done your Sharona? They've, They've done, done my Sharona quite, quite often. Sharona. Right. So we've got one twenty six, one sixty five, one eighty eight, one fifty three point five. We've got a one thirty one. <laughs> Place your bets, gentlemen. Nine nine nine. Oh, ah. hello, Fanny. It's nice to have you there. Uh, <laughs> Olympic athlete, Fanny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know. Fanny Schmeller, yes. Um, Arthur Daly, yes, we've got Arthur Daly there. Um, 125, 147, 141, 127. My Sharons. Are you, are you playing with your Sharon fruit, are you? Sure. 
Yeah, Sharon's. My Sharon's. Um, One hundred from Nigel. Hello, Nigel. Nice to have you on board. Ninety-nine point nine 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 nine. Just a notification. We're live, look. All right. Okay. They're just telling us we're live, aren't we? Okay. Yeah. Only an hour late, but. I'm not live. I'm dead. Ah, uh, any more bets? Any more bets? Place your bets. Place your bets. Okay, we're eyes down. Oh, it says analyzing. There we go. Ooh. 23.6 ohms. Oh, that's a bit of a. That one's a bit of a heated. Uh, 94.28 microfarad. So, so it's close. It's close, but it's gone low. But very high resistance. That that'll be a good reason. That I bet that gets warm when you put put electricity through it. All uh, right, okay, two hundred and fifty. Take a moment, test them, George, properly if you want. Test them properly. Mm. To destruction. Have you have you got a, a electrophoresis power supply? A what? No, you haven't. You're uh, missing out. I'm low power. You're missing out, Graham. I think the rest of us. This is a 250 microfarad, 12 volta. Oh, yeah, better have another bit of toast, otherwise we're never going to survive. I haven't had a tomato. Are these from your own garden? Uh, no, they're from our own fridge. Okay. I noticed some tomato plants out there, and they're doing yeah. okay. Ish. I think Coco's been copping his leg on them. All oh, right. Okay. Is that why they've grown tall and spindly rather than? That's why they've gone brown and withered. Okay. Right. <laughs> Fanny, nice to see you again. Yes, indeed, Andrew. Right, OK, so place your bets. 250 microfarad, 12 volt dally. What do we reckon this one's going to be? 267, 277, 278. Oh, 222.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
So then, Jamie, another 250. So is it going to be higher or lower? Pick a number. Higher or lower than 250. Don't melt the toast. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't melt the toast. No one's going to go yet. Bonus points if the number is prime. Bonus points for ESR. Bonus for points for ESR. Anybody that gets it dead on will watch it go across the power supply. Six six six. Number of the beast ninja. He's going for a devilish capacitor there. Three eighty nine, two forty seven, two seventy five, three ten, two two five. 368, bearing in mind the last one was 370, which was not far off, yeah. 287, 277, 356. Hello, Peter. Nice to see you. Mike Atlantis, Eric Bristow, what, you going for 180? Jill said 50. Okay. Um, 50, Jill. <laughs> she might be a bit low there, but we'll. you never, you never know. know. You it never might know. have gone low. You never know, Jill. 295, 295. Any more bets? Any more bets? Any more bets? <clears throat> okay, on the purple, here we go. Oh. Cody's one. is going in for a 420, 4.4 ESR, 271, and smoke it. Right, let's hit the button. Push the... Oh. So it's gone low. 230.2 with a 15.7 ESR. So who's on the low end? 225 from Nigel Williams. 247, Derek. 225 is closer than 247. Yeah, true. Nigel is the closer so far. 225, definitely. Um, yeah. Dick's in. Hi, Dick. <laughs> Mr. Strangler's in. Okay, yep, so, no, I, th I think we've got to go with David on that. Of, was it David on that one? Nigel. 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 Nigel Williams. Nigel Williams. Winner. Mm. 100 microfarads at 25 volts. So, 100 microfarads, 25 volts. Place your bets. Ninja's got a 32. 230? 230. Okay, so 230. Any ESR on that Ninja? Just 100 this is, is it? This is 100, yes, 100. 100, low. Ooh, Jamie's going low. Dick, do you know Fanny? Possibly. Don's gone 87.7. Uh, Benji's at 101, 130. They're all going low now. Lower, well, lower, you know, there's a few that are going up still. Oh, Rob, how are you? Yeah, we're streaming. Have you, do you, do you recognise this man? How are we streaming late at night? Um, well, it's not that late. It's still only quarter to ten. It's late for me. It's not past your bedtime yet, Graham. It's close. You've still got three hours of rum drinking to do. I don't know what you're complaining about. There's plenty of rum in the house now. Oh. Right, so, yeah. Just don't let me on eBay, I'll be fine. Now, that was one of the other reasons I bought the rum. I've got a load of shit to sell. You've got a load of rubbish to sell, George, haven't you? Rubbish. Sorry, rubbish. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. No, nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. <laughs> Right, okay, we're all done. Let's go for it. Oh. Rubbish, yes. 160.8 with a 0.3 ESR. Mm. Oh, it's still, it's still 60 high, 60 high. So who have we got that's uh, up on the top end there? 130, 126, 111, 131. Darren's at 131. 134.7 from Andrew Alsfer. 333 from Dick. Well, that's only because he's half a devil. He needs the other half to complete him. Um, yes, that was a good capacitor. <laughs> mm. 
And as when is the record player coming out? It depends how much. Depend. Oh, nice haircut. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry, it, it's. I have had a trim since um, since the last time I was on video. And I've got to apologise now. It has been two months since my last video. I have been slacking. Well, you're on now. You're on live. I am. I am loud. I am loud. Live. I am li loud and live. Right. So let's see what this is. This is a 10 microfarad, 25 volt dally. And microfarad. 10 micromarad. Dodgy China meter. Yes, it's a dodgy China meter. <laughs> Made in England, funny enough. Pika a British company. And in f I, don't know, I don't know if I've still got the tag on my key ring. Good stuff, Pete. Mm. <clears throat> I, I actually met the director of Peak and he offered to do a firmware update on my ESR meter if I sent it in. Um, that was meeting him many years ago at uh, one of the ham... There you go. I even got one of their free special silhouette key ring things, oh, tags, nice. yeah, you know, so a, a very nice bloke to deal with, actually. I was, I was very impressed with his customer service. The fact that, you know, he didn't know me from Madam, but was quite happy to say, just send it in, we'll do a free to do upgrade. Normally it was um, yeah, 28 quid for yeah, a calibrating yeah, that, update. That been back in once. Mm. Yeah, so... Yeah, so here we are. We've got this 10, so we've got some bets in now. 103.5 from Dom. That's good. It could be on the uh, yeah, it could be. Are these caps 85 to 105? These caps are random. You know, they might have worked at 105 originally. They, the, if you ever get a hacker radio up at that sort of temperature, you're not in the UK. Um <laughs> 15, 19, 15 again, David Roberts at 6, 15.55, we've got a 17, slacking too much, get them bids out, yes, 11.5, we've got a 14 with a 3.8 from Darren, we've got 25 with 2.4 ESR, we've got a 15.8, any more, before those ratings came, it, Nigel, came in, yes, indeed, Andrew, this is early 1960s, this is an early hacker herald, is. this is, um, it's one of the originals, and apparently, according to all the things I've read, the early ones were all red, and uh, that's how you can tell it was an early one. Here we go. Jill said 8.6543. Okay, Derek, uh, we've got another 11.5 there, so do, 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 do. any more, any more, any more for any more, any more for any more, we'll do that. Oh, right. Button. Hand out the way. Ooh. Oh, my Ooh. God. The chart. Yeah, it's a resistor. <laughs> so, if anybody guessed that it was completely knackered, then, yeah, no, we, we've got some high ESRs out there and uh, 12s. We had a couple of 11s, didn't we? 11.5. Colin got 15. it almost right. Right, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. 13, that's 12. yeah, it is 11 to 12.7 is 1.7, 15 down is 2.3. So you know, we're not too bad. Well, uh, then you know, I can't do the maths. Uh, well, Colin and Daniel both said 11.5, so that's it. I'm gonna munch another bit of this absolutely delicious cheese on toast. Mm. Mrs. Crunch has only Feeding Graham because I'm here. Yeah, I know we'll be feeding Mrs. Cruncher tonight. We've got Otter Ale, we've got another, what's that one? It's another lizard. Oh, it's a Colonel Gold. Mm. Nuclear shell. Otter. Should we have Otter? Otter, not colder. Have Otter, shall we? Go for whatever you want, Graham. Uh, where am I? I'm looking at the wrong camera. Otter Ale next. Courtesy of George. George Gifts. Would you like to read out the back of the bottle for them? Um, you can do if you want. Well, I'm not going to read it out just yet. I'll, um... You can read it. I'd finish <laughs> eating now. Um, Otter is St Mary, I believe. Oh, where the auction was that you missed last week. Yeah, I thought it was that auction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it 
supposed to be about that auction. <laughs> oh dear. I logged in just in time for two Guinness signs and an and a Elizabethan record player. Well, that would have been a very good one. It must be rare yeah. if it's Elizabethan. It was a nice record player, to be honest. Two detachable speakers on it. It um, was quite a nice little bit of kit, but uh, I was nowhere going to drive all that way, hour and a half drive, for one record player and a, and a Guinness but, sign. But what other records could you have got, apart from green sleeves being Elizabethan? No, it's too, too much for me, too much, I can't cut. Too, too much, too much, sorry. <laughs> right, 10 microfarads, 25 volts. This... These capacitors are off of a... Hacker RP30. Hacker mm. RP30, Rob. Yes. Now, this is the last one with two legs on it. The other one had the broken leg. Brett is saying, would caps this bad strain the output pair? Probably not the output pair, Brett, but certainly you could kill one of the driver transistors without a doubt. Yeah, all, all the capacitors are actually in front of the driver pair rather than behind it. So once you get to the driver pair, it's straight onto the speaker. OK, right, so 10 microfarad, what are we guessing? Dom's in first with a 13. I've got 18 off Nigel. Oh, 18 off Mike Atlantis. Oh. Jill said 13 too. She's getting closer. She's more in the ballpark, I think. 13 with a 15 ESR from Ninja. 11.6. Yeah, but if, if it gets anything on the ESR, he's going to be the closest. Um, 29, a 13.7, a 12.444. Fa, fa, fa. Fa, fa, fa. I can't do that, really, can I? That, that's not correct, is it? We can't... It's got, got to be a little bit diplomatic with you, and you can't go too... too... Yeah, 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 you can't, 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 upset, can't upset the good lady. 16, 14, 12.7, with a 40 ESR from Rob Cross. Uh, Dick Strangle goes 22, Darren Cove goes 12, 11. Mm. OK. Any more bets? Any more bets? Any more bets? Up, 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 up. Oh, hi, Benji. Yes, yes. Hi, Benji. Is he? He ain't smoking that funny tobacco again, is he? <laughs> um, and Mike, yeah, Mike must be high as well. Yeah. OK. Them tea bags, I swear. Oh, it's them tea bags, yeah. Earl Grey. Oh, I've heard about that, you know. You can't smoke that Earl Grey. Earl Grey, it's the chamomile that does you in. Chamomile. Well, that's what's in Earl Grey. Good stuff. I love Earl Grey tea, actually. Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, oh, oh look at the state of that. That one's somewhere between, oh my god, and I'm really a resistor. Chuck it on the orange one. Let's have a look and see what it, what, if it measures anything. Right, let's that get... one's absolutely had it. So that's about four now that have been absolutely knackered, isn't it? Or more even. I think we can safely say we've got some bad ones. Should should sound amazing. I should get the AM AM transmitter wired up really, don't I? But get some Greek music on. Oh no, I mean get get some uh, royalty free music on it. Right, okay. Let's put it on here. 70 NF. Nano farads. Graham, will you? How can you teach people if you're going to say yeah. NF? That's yeah. National Front. I'm just saying that's what it says. NF. Just nano farads. It. That's because it's got a little N and a big F. It's nano farads. Not nice farads. Not nice farads. No, not with an ESR no, of. Naughty farads. <laughs> naughty farads. Yes. <laughs> not National Front. That's absolutely shot, that one, basically. So uh, no one got that one, because it was absolutely knackered. Yes, right. So we have the last one, which had a broken leg. So I can get round that by touching the end of the cap. Because I like a good touch-in on the what's end. This, what's this one, then? Right, this is another 10 microfarad at 25 volt. What are we going to guess? It's the last one. Yeah, Robert hit the dial. Hey, does that mean we blow it up? He, he said 40 SR, but it's over 40 SR. 
Oh, you're getting pedantic <laughs> now. You're getting pedantic because you don't want me to blow it up, no, do you? I don't want any, I don't want any capacitor, capacitor residue over my workshop. Oh. Well, it won't be over the workshop. It'll just be all over the ceiling. Which is my workshop. What, you work on the ceiling? It's part of my workshop. Ah, oh, I ignore the ceiling. <laughs> right, so, 16. Bye, Nigel. Yep, okay, Nigel. Nice to have you in. Um, Cheers, Nigel. Catch you soon, mate. NF, no farting? Not yet. Graham hasn't had enough to drink. Oh, I don't know. I could produce some, but, you know. It's well, you know, rude. do we, do we also have to space. say, gas, 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 and then put the noddy suits on? Um, 16, 12, 7, 6, 13, 60 nanofarad, 40 ESR. Ooh, 17. We've got a 60 nanofarad again from Dick Strangler. We've got a 14, a 16.8 with a 40 ESR. Any more bets? Any more? Any more for any more? Uh, we've got needs a crutch, 15.321. Plus, well, greater than 40 years. Oh. Needs a crutch? Yeah, needs a crutch. Needs a leg up because it's only got one leg. Oh, I was a bit slow there. I was a bit slow, Derek. You know, it's late for me. It's nearly my bedtime. It's past his bedtime, really. We'll send it over 40. 17 lights. Yeah, come on, everybody. Yo, I drop in on Graham unannounced. I take over yeah. his channel. Yeah. You've at least got to like the banter. Gangs me. I even said a rude word. That's got that's got to count for some like. You know. You dropped the S bomb. I dro at least I didn't do anything else. Right. <laughs> Have we got any more yet, bets? Yeah. Oh well, well, 30 Siemens. No, we're not measuring in Siemens. That's electrical conductivity. And Graham hasn't got a meter that will do it. Without units, you're wrong. I'm a bit of a unit. Jill said 10.6, hopping mad. <laughs> Why is she hopping mad? Because she's only got one leg too. <laughs> Any more bets? Any more bets? Any more bets? Uh, I will sell at this. So... <laughs> there we go. Oh, finish big, finish big. 14.4. Rob is 40 ESR. Rob again. We got... Cody's did say greater than 40 ESR. Yeah, Daniel's 14 ohms, so he's pretty much bang on there, isn't he, Daniel? 14 microfarad. Oh, he said microfarad, didn't he? No, 14, Daniel. Yeah, so he's got the microfarads yeah, yeah. And, and Paul's got the uh, the SR. Definitely over, yeah. It's knackered. So, so they're all short pretty much, aren't they? Yeah, and the cap only has one leg. So I think that might <sighs> explain why... This poor little hacker amp board has suffered. It suffered. They can't see you. Well, they can see that. They can see me do this. That, yeah. Yes. Poor little hacker amp board. <laughs> so let's turn that off now for that. So we have. Put the meters back up there, out the way. You're going to shove it back in there, are you? And let's see if it's secured it and then do the quiescent. And then we can. And midpoint. I'll show you. I'll give you a handful of shavings on that. Your radio. Now I've got the radio. So let's, let's move that camera back, the overhead back. And we're on there. Are we, are we zoomed in a bit Maybe too much? On this one, right, okay. There we go. We can see the radio now. Okay. Uh, which, yeah, this is the back. So, let's flip the switch out over the top. Let's make George smaller because he's, he's so big. I, I'm, just, I'm just huge. He's so big. I'm too big. So hunky. That's exactly what they all say. I have this problem. They are saying I'm too big. What else can I do? Do we say, is that a berm? A berm? Now, which pick found for film was that? The Clouseau and the berm. I don't 
the clue was, so far. Was it, films are brilliant. was it Strikes Again? Pink Panther Strikes Again, where he's no. doing. Uh, I have a delivery for you. It is a berm. That's one of the early ones, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to rest it up on the top of there because I don't want it shorting on the hinge. I want to get me crocodile clips from under the meter. It's still powered on. Still powered on. Oh, yours suffers the same problem as mine. Residual... Creeps a little bit. Yeah, residual creep. No, but... I've probably got, I've just got it in between, I suppose. But it's showing that, you know, the one milliamp when there's nothing connected. Mm. Yeah, mine does exactly the same, only mine's much better. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? I'd have put the black one on the wrong one. Oh, but it would have been such a fun smoke, wouldn't it? Right, so we, we have the elastic trickery. We have a lot of volume. Come on, you little. I wonder whether the grease has dried up in this cap and that's what's dragging it and making it slip. Because you see, it's free at that point. So there we go, we'll get Graham a copyright strike as well. Now, I'm going to put it really quiet. No distortion, I don't think. No distortion at all. It should be another couple of channels there, just a little bit further on. Yeah, but will we be able to turn the dial string? <laughs> the French one it's quite early still although we have gone into darkness come on probably have something on there that's playing music. Uh, where are we? Radio 4. 1500 metres. <clears throat> that dial calls so annoying, isn't it? it sounds like that um, tuning cap's short. It does, doesn't it? 
That's why we can't get long wave because it is there. Do you get RTE here or? middle of nowhere, Middle Earth. We don't get any of this seaside stuff from foreign. That is annoying me now. David, how are you? Evening, David. Dial cord live, Paul saying. Should we get George to do the dial cord? Tighten up the dial cord. No, replace it. Could replace it. It's not hard on these things. Radio for you tends to better have set ninety degrees. I ain't bent your veins. You bent my veins. I ain't bent your veins. You bent my veins. I ain't bent your you veins. They, veins. They was already bent down the bottom end. I ain't pushed the bottom end. I only pushed <laughs> this top end by this bit. <laughs> all good, life, all good. All good, all good. Oh well, I suppose we'll have to rip this. not going to work on come on and now on absolute radio Just want your extra time and your years. Graham's turning the lights off because he wants to be kinky. Still sounds distorted. Yeah, I can't tune it in. Sounds clean. Yeah. Right, so let us think about doing some quiscant. Quiscant current. Right. Book of Lies. It's a possible faults RF alignment, RF sensitivity to oscillator drive, roof alignment, alignment sensitivity checks. We're at the front of the book on these or the back of them. I only ever use internet ones because I can't afford these real ones. Right, test specification, audio tests. Uh, no, it's, it's on a bit further, I think. Right, static voltages, right. I got that. 
You're not going to worry about that, eh? No, okay. Audio test. A scope. A generator. With speaker or output meter connected. Short circuit amplifier input by a link between 4 and 5 of SK1. Well, I'm nasty. I use a blobber solder. Um, 4 and 5. Connect to 10 mega ohms. Not to 10 milliamp. Not to 10 milliamp. What? It's a little M. What? Bloody echo It's old. It's old. It's old. It's old. It's old. Rusty Staples. I've heard about Rusty Staples and all. It's doing your Rusty Staples. Is that like Rusty Starfish? I don't like Rusty Starfish. Yeah. Did you Did you gym. like my star? Amazing. It was an amazing star, wasn't it? Yeah, Connect the meter star. between the midpoint voltage test point, which is junction R20, 19 and 20, and Earth. Connect the batteries. Right, OK, so let's short circuit pin number 4 and pin number 5 of SK1 first. Because we can. I'm going to turn that over like that so I don't lose my page. Three, four, four's that one, five's the middle one. Electric blue. Oh, oh you turned it on. Oh, yeah, because of the noise, didn't you? Because it does interfering. Doesn't do too bad actually that one. This this Duratil one interferes like mad, but that pays in too bad at all actually. It's the light that interferes more than anything. Ah. LEDs, you know. LEDs. It's a power supply, not a lamp. Green. Ready to go? Another yep. bit of toast. I'll have another bit of toast. Just remember which pin I'm shorting, that one to there. So we're gonna blob this one in the middle just because we can. Right, so that's shorted those pins out. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, rather than do a gentle piece of wire or anything, I could have used a component leg, but I just put a big blob of solder there because I'm an animal. A beast. I'm a beast. I am an animal. Then I have to connect my meter between the test link terminals, having first cut the wire. Well, there's the test link terminals. And I shall get... The, the magnetised Andrew House for snips. Mm. Oh, Doug, are you? Yeah? Cut the, the wire. wire strand trapped in the tuning cap. Ooh, that could do it. That would be a really nasty, nasty thing. Right, okay, so. Cheers, Paddy. Catch how, you soon, mate. How do you normally stand your meter upright graham so that you can get it in camera so that people can see uh, if you just stand it just, just stand, stand, stand it about there, there. Really? okay i mean because uh, i've still got to separately in, in one camera well whichever whichever suits you best as i say i'm i'm that's all right yeah you can be on camera yeah we don't mind Are you sure yeah I'll, uh, i know you have I might have another bit of cheesy toast in a bit. A minute. It won't go to waste. Right, um, let's connect this up and we need to be on milliamps. Oh, do you? Yeah, you need to red one into the milliamps. Red one into the 440 milliamps. Mm -hmm. And milliamps is down here. Sure. And we've got no milliamps ish. Now let's connect the probes between those two. And I'll just use one hand like chopsticks. Yeah, no, these right. are fine. It just because if, if you if you get the little well, if you get the little, so I don't know if you can see this, Graham, but if you get the little, see these little. Bits here, notchy bits, you yeah. get the notches on each of the pins, and you use the the finger holdy bits mm -hmm. as as a lever. So you only need one hand to hold them there. Your other hand's free to do reading when or you're doing the midpoint voltage at the same time as that. You can do your. <laughs> you go, no, no, carry on. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like yeah. So you can have that. So. Right, connect that. Um, okay. Can, oh, yeah. Eh? 
We've got a 10 volt meter as well. You need two. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Well, where's your other meter then? New one up there, look. There's a, uh, right up there? Yeah. God, yeah. God. Oh, All right. Mind you, only having two meters. Graham's are done by. I've got more than two. There's another. There's another two I can see from here. I've got four. Only having four meters. Graham's are done bench, by. There's a bench meter there. That's five. Five. He's still are done by. There's an AVO and a volt volt meter there. Seven. He's still are done by. Look, ask Andrew House for how many he's got. Yeah, he's he's, he's um, a hoarder. He's he's a he's a meter hoarder. Do I use Doug's special clips? You can if you want. I can do, can't I? I could do Doug's special clips. They might be a bit big to get in on the resistors. So that's the only thing. Are your ones good? Have you actually made yeah, sure that they're all they're soldered, soldered on? Because yeah. I know these cheap Chinese ones can be a real fall apart. Yeah, I've taken them off and soldered them. Right. I have rolled the chair over some of the um, leads though. Some of the clips. Well, there you go. Right. So we have to go between Earth, which we can pick up from pin four. Four meters is good band. Because pin four is going to Earth because it's on pin five. And Simon's the... got more than Andrew, apparently. Oh. Simon's got more than Andrew. And the Midmore Junction R19 and R20, which, if I remember, is... That's R18. Do you want to top up on your Coke? Oh, you? yes, yes, please, thank you. I'm on the Coke, man. I'll be barman. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at the, the, the layout because all the numbers have worn off this board. Terrible, isn't it? Shows how often I work on radios, you know. There's no lasers, no, no. Here's the dial cord. There's a schematic. There's a schematic. Where's a layout? You've got a layout. You've got, a, you've got an outboard one. Do you want to Yeah. If, if you've got a layout, I'm trying to work out the numbers. Which, which, can I switch, yeah? Yeah, which numbers are which? Because I can see R18, sort of. Oh, sorry. What are you looking for? Oh, yeah. It's just, it's just the two... Um, the two it's the two resistors in the middle. In behind the... Um, those two in yeah, the middle. Those, those two down there. Yeah, right, OK. So it's those two there yeah. at that point there. Um, yes. That's the meeting point of yep. the two, yep. which is also the meeting point if you come across at here, but yep. that's no you good to connect to. So we've got a bit of wire on, just a little bit on there. So we need about five hands. So that one's there, so we want the red wire for there, that's in the middle of there. I'm not saying much, am I? No, no, no. God, this is a... Is that one of the ones that... Possibly. The chair over? <laughs> it's been crunched. Yeah. Right, so we've got that. So we can go back to our other two prongs. Right, so they can go across there. So this meter is reading what sort of voltage? Uh, 20 volts is the right scale for this, and it's 20 volts DC, isn't it? Yep. And what sort of tone level, what sort of generator do you normally shove into these? You don't need to put a generator in. You just measure a voltage. But when you we put the... All oh, right, yeah, okay. So we'll just turn it on then. So what you're reading, let's just <coughs> get you in. So we actually, you can see you can see one meter. Let's pop that one. Pop, pop that, that one well. wherever you want to pop it. Yes. There's a little. Oh, it's got old Maplin meter, that is. Ah. Right. So we've so got. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yeah. So we've got 
9 volts on the center point on the resistor and we have 2.6 milliamps so let's have a look so it says um we should have 4 milliamps quiescent current mm -hmm. and 8.85 <laughs> midpoint voltage all right okay <laughs> so to get the midpoint voltage of 8.85 you've got to adjust rv3 yes which is this big bugger here I don't think that's a slidey one, is it? That's no, this is the this is the twisty one. So you need eight point eight five on that one. Lower, lower. Whoa! That's all right. It's Whoa. a new radio. Look, she's blown. Blown it up. She's not blown up. Oh, jeez. Always panicking. <laughs> God, yeah. There you go. Right. So we're reading uh, 912. I wonder if this 10K has gone, gone to dog. What, the uh, pot? Yeah. Do you want to give him a squirt? 8.85. Yeah. Well, you're not far off. 7 9. 8 2. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Eighty, eighty. Yeah, see if I can get a gnat's more on it. One. Not the wolf. Two. Number two. Three, four. 8.84 is good enough, surely. Have you got slow motion arms? Very. 8.8, Do you want me to go closer? Milliamps have gone to nothing. What's up to our milliamps? Have one of the leads come off? 2.6. <coughs> so now this is the slidey one. Yeah, this is the slidey one. So do you want to just try and break the seal or do you want to um, put something on it? Do you want a bit of isopropyl? Bit of IPA to um, squirty bottle there. Squirty bottle there. Oh, this one here. Yeah, it's a squirty. Do you know what happens if you put a lot of current through a coil of wire? No. It you does. Do. It, it catches fire. No, don't, we don't want fire, George. You don't want fire? No, you would get a whacking great pint of uh, bitter thrown over it or else. I won't get a pint of bitter thrown over it. <laughs> no, I'll be throwing it that way. Right. Some pliers. Or some forceps. Forceps over there or pliers. Ooh, use the pliers. We do like a little nip. Alright now we've got to get this to four, haven't we? Yeah, we'll just <clears throat> on zero at the moment. One zero. Come on, you pain in the ass pile of dog shit. A dog what, George? A dog poop. Dog poop. Is it moving? <laughs> I've just pushed one of any, any of the buttons to turn it off again. Come on. This is one of these ones, if you go too mad, you'll pop the output transistors. Just, just, just you know. that's right. Do you why. remember that? You did yeah. That one of yours, didn't you? Yeah. Which was that? That was the Sovereign 2? No, it would be a Hunter. Oh, right, yeah, of course it was. Let's pull that off because it slid all the way. When it broke the connection, it went all the way. They're horrible, those. There must be there must be something you can do, but the, the problem is, is you can't get a high, high enough wattage um, variable pot to, to go back in there, and you can't get those flat bar type ones anymore. So 
if it breaks, we're in trouble. I would just put a couple of resistors in, it'd be alright. Yeah? Yeah. We'll work it out. Maths. Work out the resistor that we need. The problem is, is um, these germaniums, they, they alter with heat, don't they? They can do. Right, so we're at one and a half. So we need to go the other way, because we were high, weren't yes, we? I'm looking for four. Two point three. Oh, you're close. Four point four point six. Four point four. Four point three. Whoa. Four point two. What was it before? It was two point something. Two point something. Mm. How about that? Is that good enough? Brilliant. You'll pull that midpoint voltage you put a bit. The trouble is these two are both interactive. Yeah, they're interactive, yeah, you've got to... So as soon as you touch this voltage now, it might, it might work in your favour. It might um, pop the quiescent down. It is difficult, this. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> it's not doing bad though, George. We're getting there. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. Go Just like them railways. Have we been missing out on chatting to people? No, no, don't worry. They're, they're all... They're all enthralled. I've just got the, cam the meters a bit better in shot. So we're looking for 8.85 on the blue meter, and we're looking for 4 on the orange one, and we ain't far off, to be honest. I would probably be be happy with that, to be honest. I don't think it's going to make a massive difference. I suppose if the quiescent current's a bit high, you're going to drain batteries quicker. So you're pretty much bang on there, George. That's, that's perfect. And you're 4.2 on the quiescent current. You want me to knock it back a touch, or are you happy with that? Try and touch it. Trouble is, you're not going to get point two. I don't reckon, George. If you just give it a little tap, you might. Give it a suspense. Four point three. Four point four. Four point three. Four. That's gone up. 8.86 is fine still. Three point nine. That that's that's fine. You're happy with that? Yeah. I mean, if you touch that eight point eight seven, that might bring that a bit. But to be fair, that's fine, George. That's three point nine. When it yeah. gets, when it gets hot, it, it'll go up anyway. Okay. It's better be slightly lower than slightly higher. Slightly higher. So, yeah. Yeah. I reckon that's good to go. So we turn that off. Take that off. <clears throat> there you go, people. So that's that. Turn that one off. Do, but, um, well worth doing. Should have brought the power up on the amp by doing that. And what was the voltage was nine when we started, so that that was pretty close anyway, really. Yeah. So let's take those away for now. Put them back. Um, take off that wire, take off the short. Put his squirty back there. Have we got any more goats? Do we need any goats today? Have we need any? Oh, I should have done them for the uh, the bombs. The bombs? To cut the S-bombs. Yeah, you should have done. You need two. You need two, two goats. Yeah, double me goat. You're in charge of the goats. You know, you need an amp for these goats. <laughs> Paul's saying, put the fire out with beer or let it burn. I'm, I'll miss that house. 2020. <laughs> there you go. Two goats. Two. <laughs> Benji wants to buy his stuff again. <clears throat> he's, ca he's put caps in. Where's my moderators? You're letting this man get away with this. Blatantly trying to advertise stuff on my channel and using caps as well. 
Well, I use caps. I I'd put them put in the board. I'd put them in time out for that. It's just not on. <laughs> Come on, soldering iron, wake up. So there we are people, what George has done the uh, quiescent current. Is he gonna is he gonna botch that back? It's not botched, it's soldered correctly with electric glue. Because unless you want me to remove these pins and drag it all out and to be fair, if it's just one of mine, I just sold them back together. As a customer radio, I'd probably take it out and put a new new wire across. I would actually leave it to show that it'd been done. Because <sighs> that way you know that it's been worked on. Right, so let's just check. Pin four is okay. Pin five is okay. I might refill. I will have another piece of cheesy toast. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Special. Mm. She's much much nicer than he makes out. Really. I do. She's lovely. Mm. Finger slipped, Benji. Did it right. <laughs> He's done enough to be classed as a channel sponsor. <laughs> you let it slide, Paul, didn't you? Right, so now, do you have an acid brush? Good. Blue roll is over there. Oh, blue roll. Graham is polishing a turd. It's a very good radio. This is a lovely radio ZX. It's a very good radio. I sold it to Graham. Mm. It's a perfect radio. It's the best radio he's ever owned. Ah. What? Well. Benji's saying there's no excuse. His cap, cap's lock lights up. Well, Benji, you know. Get extravagant with a blue roll. Yeah. Oh, dropped it down the back. It's all got a place here, just finding it. Mm -hmm. God, little bottle. Or is that your flux? Flux. Flux. Now, I don't know if you've found it, but some of these old fluxes can be conductive. Yeah. I haven't found it personally, but I have heard that. We're okay, Rob. How are you doing? I'm teaching Radio Cruncher how to fix radios properly. Yeah. Cheers, Brett. Catch you soon, mate. Brett's off. No. Night, Brett. Night, Jim Bob. The brush time. No, I picked up one of these anti static natural bristle. Brushes. Well, I think I've a pack of five of them actually from RS. And they are they are better than fifth brushes actually. I just got some hard nylon plastic things. I can't yeah, remember where I got them. Fair. Got them from China, I think actually. No, these were just like dustpan and brush things. Oh, okay. um, but they're nylon bristles, but they're very short like these, and they, they 
they'll scrub anything and you know because they're nylon they don't actually soak up any of the the cleaning stuff it, it's just a I've got the flux clean but the problem is with those old boards it'll take all the colour off yeah it, since we're not allowed to use trichlorothane anymore you know you can't just shove them in an ultrasonic cleaner like I would normally do and just say the four will be off the board soon <laughs> we used to Scrub PCBs with meths and a toothbrush back in the day. Paul Senna, what are you doing sanding it? <laughs> it's going to be smooth, all right? He's getting rid of everything. He's getting rid of the colour. He's trying to get, get the solder off. Yeah, yeah. What else can I say? It, it, it's going to be the best amp board Graham's ever had. It's going to be amazing. Just don't knock that bloody bar resistor thing. Don't don't even sneeze. That's under there. Yeah, don't sneeze near that. <laughs> Got any Loctite? I can Loctite it in place yeah, again. <laughs> I've done that before. I used Mr. Crocher's uh, nail varnish, actually. Yeah, I can see it's still on your fingers. I know. I've got some clear stuff to make some shiny. All right, without dropping it in a bath, I think that's as good as you're going to get for getting rid of the flux. It's pretty good, George. You can see it's it's discolouring the yeah. the paper where yeah. where this has picked that up. Ain't our flux either. That's, um, no, that's the flux that was already on it. Flux from and there's whatever, there's still some on there, you know, without going excessive. 1966. Well, no, 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 I think we said before this is 1964, isn't it? I think so. Yes. Because this. Amendment was 1966. Yeah, 1964, one of those boards, right? Where's the matches? Same age as me. No, I've got any matches in here. Oh. How was I ever going to get rid of the excess isopropyl off this board? What are you doing? Oh, like this. What, you like the paper? You like the blue touch paper? No, 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 no. The wood burner's not on at the moment. We don't need a wood burner, we only need to burn the blue paper. Oh. So there's that. That can go with the capacitors. We can put that back up, up there for now. Bring that back here. And that way round. It's still sticky with the flux. It's horrible when you're on that. It's, like it's you know, without going, as I say, and flooding it. Might be worth you getting um, a little Tupperware container so you can just drop them in, but uh, so that they can soak in the isopropyl. Yeah, I've got one up there somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't have to be done now. It can be done any time you like. I bought a set of, um, was it five or six? I don't know, as does, I think they were about four quid for the set. And um, that's quite useful actually for all sorts of things from cleaning boards to dropping things in, etching. That goes in there, that goes in there. We've got Dick Tickler in there. Oh, we've got Dick Tickler. Is that that Sean again? I don't know who it is. Is it trichlorine band now? Yes. Yes. I don't know why. Just because it caused a few people cancer. We used to wash our hands in it. Jamie says smooth some body fit on it. George the scrubber. Oh, I'm, a, I'm definitely a scrubber. He is a scrubber, Simon. I am a scrubber. You want it clean, I'll scrub it. Benji lights the fire next month. Does he? Whether it needs it or not. I think so, yeah. Probably don't go out then until June. I, I didn't think foxes hibernated. I thought they were out in all weathers looking for food. Okay. You know, I don't you could know. go to ground though, couldn't they? In the winter. Depends if the dogs are chasing him. After all, <laughs> Boxing Day hunt, they've still got foxes True. around. True. Still got the Jack Russell down there, that'll sort them out though. 
not allowed to do that now. What, Jack Russell's? Down the, down the, uh, down the, the, the foxholes, no. no, no. Right. She's in, she's tight, she's back. We'll give it another quick test just to make sure I haven't blown anything up. Okay, police are coming to get you. Police, yeah. It's working. Good stuff, George. It's working. Well done. She's done. Dusted. Let's unplug that. Turn your switch off. So, yeah. Um, tuning cap. It's either repair or replace. We need to get a new one of those, eh? Gonna have to, we're gonna well, have to out of scrapper, it. I mean, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean. You're gonna, it's still going to be a dismantle. Mm. Dial cord, you can check the condition of it once you, when you're getting the cap out, because obviously that's got to be a, you're going to put the foams powder on the uh, ferrite. But um, yeah, your amp board's done, recapped, you've got a pile of caps. Yeah, you've got some. Of caps. Now, are you like Sean and save them in a bag? No. Are you sure? No, the only ones I save are ones I can stuff for, you know, I don't stuff those dallies. I only save the echo modes and the um, plessies. We missed one. Did you test that? No. Oh. Oh, there's a 40 microfarad to test. A last, te last minute tester. Mm. So, let's just... Sweep the detritus away. You going to bed, Rob, are you? Night then, Rob. It's Night, Rob. Near my bedtime. Oh, got to eleven. Christ. I've still got a four-hour drive home. Four hours, is it? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Don't worry about it. So there's for the bin. There you go. Set fire to them later. Should have took it back and blown them up. Um, we need the Essa. So one last round of cat bingo. So if I give you a radio. Oh, thank you. I haven't polished your balls. Just polished my balls? Thank God for that. No, well, you know, you wanted them polished in the, um, <laughs> in, in the turntable, didn't you? Yeah. Right, so we're under there now, okay. I'll take it we're under that, that one there. Every, no, no, let's move it that way so that people can see it underneath the pair of us. There you go. Right, what we have here, we have a 40 microfarad, 16 volt, no manufacturer mark on it, but I'm guessing it's a... Looks like a Philips, but it could be a... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, some old crap anyway. This could be good, this one. Oh, you reckon? I think this one, this one could be about 48 and about 0.7 ESR. So I've got a 48 and 0.7. Our Colin's gone for a 52. Ninja's gone 25 with a 40, a greater than 40. 54 from Andrew. 49 from Benji. 54 from Derek. 58 from David. Evening, David. Let's see you pop in there, mate. Any more for any more? Say. Mike said he's not seen any pros working together since the 80s. <laughs> well, pardon? Pay me, I'll work with anybody. <laughs> 51 and 1.4 from Darren. Well, we've got a 57 from Mike Atlantis. Simon so Spire's gone 55. 61 from Doug. Ooh. It's going high. It could be in the right ballpark, you just never know. Any more for any more? Any more? Could just be a dally without the, without the blue. Bit. Without the blue, it could be. Could be they couldn't so now it looks like Doug's the last one to enter the game. So let's hit the button. Oh, 
I want far off 0. 0.7, but 54. 54.1. Right. 50, oh, and Andrew Elsvis, a draw. Mm. Oh, would have been a decider for the ESR, really, but... Neither of them went for the ESR. They didn't. It was a draw. Yeah, because Simon's gone 55, but um, 54 is closer because it's 0. 0.18. It's only 0. 0.18 out, yes. Mm. Yeah. So it's a dead, it's a dead heat. With a mm -hmm. decider. With a decider. Can you find any more caps knocking about on the floor anywhere? Um... Just grab, grab a new one. Let's, let's do, have Wait, a new one as a decider, shall we? A new one out the box. There's some some in the, there, look. Some Ooh. electrolytics there. Uh, over to the right. Oh, <clears throat> He's nearly gone for the beer. I said the SH1 too. Did you? Did. Really? Well, I said ship. Ship. Ship, ship yes. Yeah. Ship. My ship, ship comes in. Right. Okay, so here we go. We've got a 4.7 microfarad this is the decider. at 450 volts. So, Andrew and Derek, Derek place your bets. <sighs> so, Andrew and Derek, 4.7 at 400 volts. Or 450 volt. 4.7. 450 volts. George, have another bit of toast. I'll have another bit of toast while they decide. Go for the big one in the middle. The big one, yeah. yeah. You got a longer journey than me. Nah. <laughs> Benji's saying 5.5, but Benji's not in the decider. Right, Andrew's gone 4.89 on a new one. Just waiting now for Derek. What's it going to be then, Derek? Andrew's gone 4.89. Dick Tickler has gone in 4.7. 4.7 and 0 0.02. He's gone for ESR, Andrew. Give us an ESR figure, Andrew. Because it could could be the clincher. Mind you, it probably ain't going to be because they're both different values. Mm hmm. I reckon it'd be lower. I know, it's a, it's a low value, isn't it? It's a good mm. big wire. Yes, or... You never know. Jamie, 4.4 naughty farads. <laughs> mm. This is a brand new capacitor. Brand new. Is it Nichi Con as well, isn't it? It is indeed a Nichi 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 Con. It's worth a capacitor, probably. <laughs> You've been robbed. They bloody. Were you, well, were you playing with yourself when you went and bought them? I probably had some rum. All right. You know, I was going to say, they must have seen you coming. Um. Boom, boom. <laughs> Andrew's gone 135 on the ESR. <sighs> yeah, that's probably right for a low value. Mm. But look at that. 4.23. 4.23. So who is it? Who's closer? Uh, Andrew said 4.89. And Derek gave 4. us 4.7. Derek's got it. Mm -hmm. Derek wins it. <sighs> but Andrew gets it on the ESR. If 1.35 is, you know, if we're going to take the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. It's, 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 it's not a tie, but Derek wins it on the, on the value, yeah. which is what we were going for. Yeah. So there we go. So why is that high then? I reckon it's because it's a high voltage cap. High voltage cap doesn't charge as much. Yeah, and it's a low value. So and if, a if you picked out, say, they go up in value as you go across. So if you go up to... 33s. Hundreds. Yeah, that's low, low... Uh, oh, you want to go for a 33 at 450? Yeah, try higher value one. Oh, this is your um, fa get... famous chongy type ones, isn't it? These are brilliant. The, these Richies are brilliant these caps. Are from, um... AliExpress. Yes. From, uh, what's the shop? Carry, uh, Carry Electronics, yeah. yes. Okay. Last one for everybody then. 450 volts. It's a 33 microfarad cap. 33 microfarads then. Last one. Oh. I can't get it here. I'll see if I can get the light to shine. Oh, there we go. Right, so you can see exactly what we're playing with. Brand new. 
from China. You need a reread. Need a reread. A wee read. Reread. Reread. Thirty-three will be high ASR. Yeah. Okay. I'd say lower ESR for thirty-three. Mm, yes. Yeah. It'll still be high, higher, but higher the value cap, the lower the lower ESR. ESR yes. So, yeah. So Andrew's going. 34.62, Mike Atlantis at 34, Benji's at 34 as well, 35 from Cyber Flyer, 34.4 from Ninja, 49, point f oh, 49 and 44 from Mike Hunt. Mm. Hi Mike, nice to see you in. Mike's in there, is he? Strange he's got the same icon, isn't it, as um, Dick Tickler. Maybe. No, is it? Oh, it is the same, yes. So if I eradicate that person... Well, well you, you take the fun out of it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you can if you want. It's your channel. You can eat. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to see who disappears, you see, up through the list. Oh, that was the idea. Oh, all right then. Well, <laughs> it affects your stats knocking people out. Does it? I would imagine so, because it then goes as less viewers, doesn't it? Because you're knocking live viewers off. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't even mess it. I'm just trying to think of your stats, bringing your stats up. Here we go. Darren's on 36 with 2.5. Dave Malik on 37. 31 for Jamie. He's using old house numbers. So that's fair enough. Colin's gone 35.6 with a 0 0.4. Derek's 34, 4.2. Right, OK. Yes, any more for any more. We'll hit this as the last one. I think Graham will probably want to go to bed unless he wants to start on the run. Or more beer. Any more for any more? Eyes down. We're there, aren't we? We're there. Well, he's not far off. 35.16 with a 1.4 ohm. 35.6 was Colin. Uh, 35, 35, so 35 is actually closer, yes. 30 cyber flyers closer. Um, yeah, and it's only by a few points there, so yes, cyber flyer. Take that. Mm. From, from, is it New Zealand cyber flyer? How about scotch? <laughs> I don't think I've got any scotch left, Pat. I think I've had the lot of that. I don't think there's any scotch left. He's eaten all the scotch. Drunk all the scotch, even. Eaten. <laughs> too many E numbers in there. Too, yeah, too many E numbers in this Pepsi. <laughs> you should see the, the root beer I've got in the car as well. And guzzling that on the way down. <laughs> That's the machine gone. So I'm going to put your cap in back in its box. So if you want to... Uh, I don't know. Knock it on the head. I think that's about it now, people, don't you? Hopefully you've enjoyed that little bit of impromptu uh, live sprigs. Live sprig. L live sprig. 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 Live you're used to looking at that one, and I don't to look me, at any of them. To me, to you, to me, to you, to me, to me, to you. No, that's me. That's you. To me, to you. Yeah. To me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Cheers, people. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, hope hopefully, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this madness. It's been it's been an occasion. It's been great to have George here. He's fixed my amp. Which is good because it saves me another job. Saves him a job. It means he's actually got one less job to worry yeah. about, and he can get on All with something do is else. Bung the hole now, sort the pot out, and restring it. Cap. Restring it. And the cap. And the cap. Tuning cap. Oh yeah, yeah. Tuning cap. Yeah. No point in restringing it if it ain't. No, but exactly. but uh, yeah, so I'm going to say thank you to Graham for hosting me, and thank you to Mrs. Cruncher for the delicious cheese on toast. And, um, yep, yeah, it's going to be a fun trip back. I will be getting something done on the bench fairly soon. Hopefully, when I get home, I'll have boxes and boxes of parts arrived, which I've had on order for a secret project. 
I will finish the VEF. Yes, I had a secret. I've got a secret project on the go. Have you really? I have indeed. Uh, involves high voltage. Ooh. Yes. And sparks? No sparks yet. No, I'm hoping no sparks, unless you mean the electrician that's going to be wiring it. That's me. Right. There might be sparks. You're right. There might be sparks. Oh, you were yeah. talking about Jacob's Ladder at one stage. That one is still on the cards. That's still on the, that's still on the cards. This is a different secret right, project. Secret. Okay. So that's that's what's going to be going on on my channel. Hopefully, I'll get me uh, uh, me bottom in gear, and actually get round to doing a video. The VEF has half been finished. It's back together, but I've got to test it outdoors and. Uh, while the chainsaws have been going for the last month, it's been hard to get outside and uh, do anything because the garden's nearly clear. I can nearly connect my aerials up now. Yeah, we might be able nearly. to have a live chat on air. Live on air. Northampton to Dem. Northampton Dem. Mm. You never know. On 80 metres, we can talk about our prostate 80, nets. Yeah. yeah, well, we could do 80 metres. Yeah. We could do 40 as well. You never Probably know. do 10 if I put the amp on. We could do 10. Mm. I haven't got an amp on 10, though. Oh, you've got a couple hundred watts, though. True. True. A couple hundred watts, me running at uh, 400. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. won't run the amp at yeah, full no, power. 10, 10 is very well, isn't it? it? Some days it's good, some days it's yeah. bad. Um, CB, I don't think, will make it. No. No, no, no. no. Not at four watts no, each. No, 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 no. Not at four watts each. No. i still got to put the aerial up, so that might be difficult. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Yeah. Bye, people. Thank you very much, everybody. Catch you soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and all the yeah, rest of like it. The comments, share, subscribe. Like. subscribe Thanks yeah. for all these super chats as well. Appreciated, as always. And um, I'll catch you probably on Sunday now. Who knows? You might do a Friday. I might do a Friday. You don't know. You yeah. just don't know. Never know. Anyway, cheers, people. See you later, guys.